In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Flicky AI as a complete beginner. Flicky AI is a text to video converter that uses AI technology to have a video done automatically within just a few minutes, allowing anyone to create videos without showing their face. To get started, you can click on the link in the description down below and sign up for an account. Once you've done that, you'll then end up right here. This is your dashboard. Now, if you're new, you won't have these files. So what you need to do to start making your video is click on new file in the top right corner. Then you want to enter a file name, mine is going to be Amsterdam, and then choose whether you're going to do audio only or video and audio. I recommend doing the latter. Click on create, and then what it's going to do now is send us into the video maker. This is basically where we're going to build out our video, starting off with the script. So once we put in a script, it's going to automatically generate the entire video by using AI technology. I prepared this script right here by using ChatGPT. This is a script about things to do in Amsterdam, which as you can see, our videos, they get 1.3 million views, 500,000, 150,000, 300,000. So these kind of videos can get good views. What I'm gonna do then is paste in our script. As soon as you do this, the AI technology is now gonna read the script and choose clips that actually fit what is being talked about at that exact moment so that it can build out our video automatically. Depending on the length of your script, this might take a few minutes or like for me, this can be done really quickly. So as of right now, my video is about three minutes long and the entire video is now built. However, we're gonna change that because what if you don't like the current video? Don't worry, you can change and customize everything. I'll now show you how you can change the clips, how you can add text, how you can customize the text, how you can add a text-to-speed voiceover, how we can use AI to generate images to include in your video and basically everything you need to create the faceless video in the best way possible. Starting off by changing the sizing. So as you can see right now, it's a square, which is perfect for an Instagram post, but if you wanna make a YouTube video, this doesn't fit. So go to video settings, click right here, and then click landscape so that it fits on YouTube. Then click save, and then as you can see, it will now be in landscape mode. Next up, how do you change the clips? Because as of right now, I'm talking about Amsterdam having more canals than Venice, and as you can see, it selected a random clip of, I'm not even sure what it is, this might be Amsterdam, I'm not quite sure, so this is not the best scene to open a video. Here's two things you can do. You can click on auto pick video, which means that they're automatically gonna select another video for that scene, which is definitely a viable option. If that one doesn't work out well, what you can do is click right here, and as you can see, in this case, not the best clip. It includes water, but there's not really a canal. Sometimes it works very accurately, sometimes it doesn't, it depends on the keyword. But what you can then do is simply click on that video. You can also do this by clicking on the three dots and then click change image slash video. And you can upload your own footage or you can choose from their stock library, which is powered by Storyblocks, which is a stock footage platform that has pretty much any clip you'd like. For example, if I type in Amsterdam canals and I hit search, they're now gonna load up the video from the Amsterdam canals. And as you can see, I now get all of these clips that I can choose from, which is perfect. And all of these are high quality and actual good footage. For example, I can choose this clip. This is an aerial view of Amsterdam narrow canals. Simply click on it in order to select it. It's then gonna load it into the tool. And as you can see, the video will then change. And there we go. We have just changed that specific clip. And you can do that for every single clip in your video. So the second one is talking about the red light district in Amsterdam. So what you would do is either type that in, or for example, Amsterdam nightlife, just like that. And you'll then get videos once again, which you can choose and then load in. Now, even though that is great, you've got more options. You can upload your own videos as well as photos so that you can then load these in, or you can use AI art, which I'll show you how you can do that right now. So let's say we pick this scene right here. What I can do is go to my library, click choose file, then upload from my PC. So if you want to download files locally, or for example, from Google, for example, red light Amsterdam, just like that, you could then go to images or videos, or maybe you've got your own footage, and you could then upload it. So if I were to download this, I could then upload it in Flicky, which is perfect. I've done that with all of these right here, which is pretty cool. But what if you want to use AI? For example, create a scenic picture of the red light district in Amsterdam, just like that. Then it's gonna take up to like 10 seconds to generate the image. 
And there you go, you could then use that in your video. However, this one isn't that great because I told it to create a scenic picture. So for example, if I just type in red light district in Amsterdam and have it generated again, it is probably gonna come out with a better picture. And there you go, this is what it then generated. So if I wanna use this, I can click on use this art. If I wanna give it another go, I simply click on regenerate, but click use this art and it will then be inserted into your video, as you can see right there. And that's how you can basically build out your entire video. So you would then go to the next scene, which is about a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades, which is Ajax. So what you then do, you click on change image or video, you type in Ajax, see what the results are. For example, we can get a clip of their stadium, just like that, and there we go. Or we can go to my library, I've uploaded a few pictures from them, click right there, have it inserted, and there you go. And this is how you build out your entire video. Before I show you how you can add the voiceover to this, I want to show you how you can customize the text based on color as well as sizing. For that, go to video settings, scroll down, and then right here you'll see the font size. I recommend setting it at medium, much better than large, and then place it in the bottom, which it does by default. And then obviously the font you can choose yourself. If I wanna go with space mono, for example, I can click right there. Display type, you can choose word, phrase, sequence, or full. So if you do word, it's gonna go word for word. Phrase, it will take the entire phrase. I recommend setting it that. Once again, that's the default as well. You can have the sequence or the full part, which I don't recommend. So stick to phrase. You can then choose the font color. For example, if I want yellow, which you see a lot in social media these days, you can click right there. You can remove the background color, for example, click save, and it's then gonna apply that to our video. As you can see, it's now playing with the text in yellow, but sometimes it doesn't look too great because there's no background. So I'm gonna go back here, just like that. I'm gonna choose it to be a bit lighter, just like that, so that we can easily read it, but it's not too disturbing. And there you go, that is what that now looks like. Next up, you can also change your voiceover. It's automatically selected on one of the voiceovers depending on your plan. If you've got the free plan, you cannot select all of these. If you have got a premium one, you can use all of these. I myself, I've got the $28 a month plan, which allows me to use most of these voiceovers. And what I like about this is that they've got them available in many languages. They've got them in dialects, in gender, as well as the voice style. So you can filter and then the results will show up, which is pretty great. So what I'm gonna do now is, for example, select Malcolm, which sounds like this. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. And obviously you got many more. For example, Faith. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike. There are so many on this platform. For this video, I'm gonna choose Malcolm. If you wanna make sure that this voiceover is applied to every single scene in your video, click this box right there and then choose select so that it's gonna apply the voiceover automatically as well as sync it so that your entire voiceover for the entire video is now done. You can also find back almost all of the features by clicking on the three dots next to the scene. If you click there, you could move a specific scene down or up as you can see right here. So if you want this scene to be the first scene, you can click move up and it will then switch them around. And you can do that with every single one. You can also change the voice, change image. You can add a custom duration to this specific scene. So if I want this to be, let's say five seconds, I click five, okay. And then as you can see, it's now updated to five. I can click add subsection, allowing me to add more text, which you can see right there, as well as choose to click a new section manually. So if I click right here, because I wanna add text in here, I can now insert my text right there. For example, Ajax Amsterdam has won the league more than 30 times. I can then click auto pick video to give it a try, or I can simply click right there, go to my library and then upload, for example, this picture of an Ajax player. Apart from that, you can duplicate a scene, so create the same scene twice, as well as upload an audio file. So for example, if you wanna do your own voiceover, you can also add that to the video. You can download it or delete a scene. For example, if I don't like this part, I click delete, I click okay, and that entire scene will then be gone. We're almost done creating our basic video. However, there are a few important features left, one of which is splitting a scene. So let's say this part right there, there's too much text and you would like to split it up. What I recommend you do, first of all, is click right here, click add a subsection, then copy the part that you would like to feature in the subsection, just like that, 
and then remove this right here. On other software tools, some of them, you can simply click a button and then it splits it automatically. On here, you have to do it manually, but it only takes about five seconds if you do it the way that I just showed you. You can add background music by clicking on more in the top right corner, click on background music and then upload your own file or choose from their stock library. So as you can see right here, I can choose any of these and don't get issues with copyright on my video. If you want to upload your own, click on my library and then upload it here. For example, if I want to add this one, simply select it just like that, click save, and there we go. You can also play around with the volume. So for example, if you set it to 100, obviously you cannot hear your audio. So I would recommend setting it around six, seven or eight, click save, and then there you go. Background music is now added as well. And then we're almost done. All we need to do now is convert the video so that we can actually use it. How do you do that and what are the rules? So you can click on export in the top right corner, which you can see right here. And as you can see, it's then gonna automatically process the video. Now, as soon as this is done, you'll then receive an email where you can download the video as well, simply download it on your browser right here. Now, what is important to know is that depending on the plan you choose, you can either create videos for X amount of minutes or more. So I've got the $28 a month plan, which allows me to create up to three hours of video content per month, which is more than what I need. So this is perfect for me. However, if you want to create less or potentially more, you could choose another plan. I'll leave it up to you. For that, I'll leave the link in the description down below. It is now time to reveal one of the videos that I made within just a few minutes so that you can get an idea of what it could look like. Now, remember, you can change the style, voiceover, background music, and anything else you would like to change yourself. So this just might be what I generate within five minutes, but you can do pretty much anything you'd like with Flicky AI. Also, if you want to check out my other videos about Flicky AI, including a full course, as well as a review video, as well as comparing it to Pick3 AI, I'll leave links to those videos in the description down below. Let me know if you have any questions, and then here's the result that I generated. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial. And a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades? We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. Did you know that in Amsterdam, there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 12,500 bicycles? And it's the largest bike parking facility in the world, with so many bicycles around. It's no surprise that Amsterdam is known as the bicycle capital of the world. 